Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. So today, I am doing something that a subscriber suggested that I check out. And you guys all know that my favourite dopping method is using the 5 minute epoxy. I've talked to a lot of cutters over the course of the last couple of years and I've actually found that more people use the epoxy day to day than they do the wax. A lot of people move away from the wax. The epoxy is just so consistent and so strong. You just don't... There's just no need for anything else. Once you start getting used to using epoxy, it's really good. The only downside really is that waiting period where you have to let it cure. And the curing doesn't actually take 5 minutes as you saw in my video first going over the Araldite method. So you do actually have to wait a lot longer than 5 minutes. 5 minutes only gives you a bit of a... It's a decent hold but if you're on a cabbing wheel or even just with the Dremel you're gonna hit it and it's gonna potentially come flying off. Or at least it'll move which is not ideal. But a subscriber was talking to me the other day and I'm always keen for a chat and they were saying that Tarzan's grip general purpose glue is just as good as epoxy which I thought was absolutely crazy I don't I don't believe it I mean even just the chemistry behind it the difference between this epoxy and this glue which is a lactone based glue 405 grams per liter it's I don't see it comparing for what we need which is gluing opal onto either the wooden dop sticks if you're into that like I typically use or if you're wanting that custom kind of handle fit whether you're going to be able to get it onto a metal screw or a nail but I haven't tried it and they were pretty adamant that it would compete with if not be easier to use than the epoxy so rather than doing all the mixing and having your mixing tray and your applicator stick mixing it all up chucking it on your stones chucking them on your dop sticks they said this literally just chuck a little bit on your stone a little bit on your dop stick similar thing to the epoxy just let it dry a little bit then slam them together and you are set you don't need to leave it too long but you need to leave it a while I'm going to leave it overnight so I'm recording this part of the video the day before and then I'll finish this off tomorrow when it's fu fully cured and I don't know I am on the side of it not working but I'm a scientist and anyone else that's a scientist watching the channel you know you can't really you can't really make up your mind before trying something unless it's really well lit reviewed and published and whatnot so puncture so it. We're going to yeah, we'll give it a crack. start with the... This is just a... Uh, because I need two opals, we're going to need to bring in another piece of opal to the sacrificial gods. If I lose it, I'm not too upset. It's basically just a cubipede white piece of potch. It's got no colour. This is something I worked on, oh, like two years ago I mean look at that that was this is actually my first attempt at cutting something kind of rectangular cushion cut and you can see I just picked a dodgy crazing piece it became really hard because you can see here it was chipping a lot but you know this is just practicing with sandpaper where a lot of us start that don't have a lot of coin to throw at things and I have chucked way too much on that that's all right and then you know the uh the absolute champion piece of boulder opal that i've been subjecting to all of these different treatments all this torment we are going to continue to use him and he's going to go on the wooden dot i mean it's a similar consistency to the epoxy But that's it on. It's on nice and square. I may have done a bad job carving that opal, but at least it's flat. And then this guy on the wood. It's already formed a bit of a skin. Break it apart. Chuck it on, hold it, get it flat. 
get it flat, get it flat. I'm happy with that. So here they are and here they will remain for at least 24 hours and then we'll see whether the hold is adequate or not. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is. It would be amazing if this was just as good as the epoxy. I mean, I didn't have to mix anything. There's no mess. It's literally just like using a glue stick. So yeah, if the subscriber is correct, I will probably, I don't know, send them something. At minimum, a thank you. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow to check this out and see what the hold is like. So I'll see you then. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I've left it for a bit over 24 hours. And we'll start with the white opal on the screw. All right. So one thing I'm noticing straight away is the amount of bubbles. It's, it could be a good sign that I've pushed a lot of that air out. It can happen with the um, epoxy as well, but overall it's looking like it's pretty solid. But look at that. That's, I've been lied to, I've been had. I won't out the subscriber, this could be embarrassing. He knows who he is. But have a look at that, it's stuck to the nail pretty well, so the metal's pretty good. There's a lot of bubbles I'm noticing, which is a little odd, but that could be also from the uh, cavity formed underneath the uh, screw, since it's a Phillips head. But look at that, nothing is stuck to this opal, and this side is not polished or anything, this is just a uh, rough, you can see the cutting marks across it. I've literally just flattened this side when I was practicing around with this piece of potch. But that glue is smooth as, and it has not stuck at all. It hasn't come off the screw, and it's, even to the screw it's not that strong. So I don't know about this uh, Tarzan's grip general purpose. It's it's good for arts and crafts probably, but for dopping, I'd say completely useless at this stage. But this person also did say that they were using it with wood. So, wooden dot. Now, boulder that's been through all of this torment. Three, two, one. Straight off. That is holding it like jelly. I think wood glue is probably similar strength to this. And it's not like I haven't given it enough time. In 24 hours, that epoxy doesn't let me get this off without a great deal of effort. And I can't get it off with my hands, I've got to go at it with a knife. So this is incredibly disappointing, but I did expect this. So to anyone out there that is asking themselves the question of can Tarzan's grip? People love the stuff. Can it be used to dop your opals to sticks or to screws? And the answer is a resounding no. No, no, no. This is useless. You'd have better luck raiding a kid's pencil case, getting their glue stick out and start rubbing it up against the opal because this is doing nothing. Look at that. Thumb? Not even an imprint. That's a funny story though, that cut there. That's a box cutter. I did that during class in about year 9. Cut off my thumb. The top of it anyway. But we just stuck it back together at the hospital and it's all good. This did not threaten to cut off my thumb at all. This has just popped straight off with minimal effort. I probably could have used my pinky finger. And just smashed it up against the edge. So yeah, unfortunately, I was doubtful and I guess I had good reason to be doubtful. This glue, the uh, lactone based glue, general purpose Tarzan's grip, is nowhere near strong enough to do it. So saying that that's what you use, I am highly doubtful and I think I've just been pranked, but whatever, add it to the playlist of possible possible dopping techniques 
but this one is a fail mark. This is worse than super glue, and it's not going to be my regular choice. That is for sure. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will go back to actually carving something now because I am over this glue. And I have parcels that I have not even touched yet. I've got that Indonesian wood opal that I've got to experiment with. I've got some Julian stuff that I haven't touched yet. I've got a list of fairly gemmy material that's sitting on my desk that I've yet to touch, but plan to. Um, so yeah. Let's get back to doing some real stuff, because this is a joke. Catch you next time.